when I was born 54 years ago, people gathered and they cried for my father. A girl, what will she become? Where are they today? My father says to me, you are better than seven sons. I was the head girl in my secondary school, but for two weeks I will not be able to go to school because of less than one dollar. That is why I cannot stand a child suffer. I've even lost count of how many kids I'm paying their school fees now because I've been through it. Destiny, here I come. Your background does not mean that your back should be on the ground. I don't care whether you are a product of a family planning device that failed. Even if your parents did not plan you, God planned you. God purposed you. And for God to change his program, he would rather change the man. Even if your parents did not have you, somebody else will have given back to you. Do like this. Destiny, I am coming in grand style. How come that your eyes are in the front? Because God created you to be a forward-looking human being. It doesn't matter what anybody feels about you. You are a miracle going somewhere to happen. The Bible says that after this, there was a feast. And Jesus went up. Therefore, I stretch out my hands in an apostolic manner to rearrange events and I create space for you at the top. You will get there. You may not know how and you may not know when, but he will do it. It doesn't matter how frustrated your destiny looks now. It doesn't matter what they have said. Each time the devil tells you you can't make it, tell the devil there is one funky adejuma somewhere who used to hawk to pay school fees as a head girl. And now she flies first class and private jets. And I will still own aircraft in this country. It doesn't matter. You know, backbiters are at the back. You give them more dust to eat. You will succeed. You will be wealthy. It shall be well with you. The only place you are permitted to go is up. After this, Jesus went up. Oh, look from guys, go. Psychologists have discovered, beg your pardon, scientists have discovered that words cannot be destroyed. And they are corroborating Genesis chapter 1. God said it and God saw it. Now it has been discovered, it is now a scientific fact that whatever word you speak bounces around your life. It cannot be destroyed. And the book of Ecclesiastes makes us to know that the angels of God, they are like zombies. Do not say before the angel it was an error. So when you come to church and they say, open your mouth and say, you better say it. And don't be forming. And become so psychedelic and the angel goes to another person. <laughs> From today, you are moving up. Yeah. You will move up in your marriage. Yeah. In your ministry. Yeah. In your finance. Yeah. In your health. Yeah. In relationships. Yeah. In academics. Yeah. In your business. Yeah. In your career. You shall not go down. Amen. Anyone that wants you down shall go down. Amen. According to Psalm 109 and verse number 17. Psalm 109 verse 17. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. Anyone that wants you to go down shall go down. Amen. But according to Micah chapter 5 and verse 9. Micah 5 9. Your hand shall be lifted up. Amen. 